And I asked him, are the Americans out of order, interfering in other countries' affairs, or are they just upholding basic standards of liberal tolerance? Hello, folks, and welcome back to the wonderful world of dubious engineering. This here is an inexpensive radio that has been sent to me by Banggood. Um, it comes in kit form. Excuse me, I'll just turn the volume down. It comes in kit form. It's really quite impressive, actually. It covers all of the hand bands. It covers all of the broadcast bands. It's even got a Bluetooth mode in it, so you can use it like a Bluetooth speaker. As I say, it comes in kit form. It takes an 18650 lithium cell. Uh, you need to build it yourself. It's quite modular. It's not too hard to put together. It's a bit like a 100-piece jigsaw. But my goodness, it's got so much functionality. First of all, you're going to have to watch me make it. Thanks very kindly to the wonderful Banggood for sending me a kit of stuff. It's a radio kit. Oh, look at this beautiful LCD display. OLED display, possibly? Let's unbox this. But basically, this is um, a digital uh, radio that does FM, AM, shortwave, the ham bands. Uh, the aviation band and the air band, so 118 megahertz to 137 megahertz. It has a Bluetooth speaker in it. It's got a web radio in it. I mean, why? Oh, look at that. The Geek Nest Radio Module V1.11 and an on-off switch, an SMA connector, and then we've got some of these lovely little uh, PCB cans that basically shield whatever is on the PCB underneath these cans here. But yeah, there's some, there's actually there's some quite interesting electronics on here. Let me just get this a little bit closer to the camera. So you can see here there's a BGA, a ball grid array chip, um, and there's quite a lot of surface mount components on here. Be very interested to know what's under these cans, but uh, this looks like the power PCB, and the power PCB has got a space here for an 18650 battery. Um, there is an encoder with a push button on it, so I can feel that latching, 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 and it just runs round and runs round. And that's got a push button on it. Um, we've got more push buttons on the side. And then what looks like um, a speaker connector here. But ultimately, what we've got to do is uh, bolt all of this stuff together. Um, all very modular, which is nice. On the back of it here, we can see that we've got a connector um, to put the... To fit this. On the side of it here, right next to the speaker port, is a headphone jack. It looks like a stereo headphone jack. And then more ball grid arrays and uh, SOT type ICs, various different bits of kit on here. And a USB-C port. Oh, happy days. I love stuff with USB-C on them. <laughs> In here is a bag of many pieces. So we've got a Perspex box here that we can... Uh, create so and actually by the looks of things it's it's transparent so it looks as though you're going to be able to see through this box and you can see all of the electronics that's cool we'll put that out of the way right let's open the bag and pour out the contents of this bag of many things let's do it there we go all the bits are out of there uh, we've got a little 3m rubber sticky sticky pad um, there are PCB standoffs in here. Uh, there's various different colored buttons. And then there's a knobby. It's a nice little brushed aluminium knobby. This is really cute. Uh, okay. Well, to be honest, I don't think we need an instruction manual to be able to put this together. Uh, there is a rather comprehensive manual here on how to use it. I love the aerial as well. Look at this. It's a lovely great big long aerial. It's a 1.2 or 1.5 meter um, antenna with an SMA connector on the bottom of it there as well. So yeah, that's really quite cute. This is an NCR. This is a Panasonic NCR18650. Uh, one that I've clearly tested in the past. So it says this is a uh, two amp hour 18650, which is more than enough for what we need. Let's see if this fits in the hole a little bit easier. Yeah, there it goes. Yes, it does. So having spent some time fiddling around with this lovely little Geek Nest radio here, I thought it would be a good idea to actually sort of partially assemble it and just check that everything does what it says on the tin. So I'm just gonna plug this top board, the radio board, into the control and display board. 
you can almost tell this is the radio board because it's got all the tin cans on the back of it here I've put a little bit of foam in there just so that um, you don't fold it over and it doesn't touch the other PCB the other thing I've done is I've um, temporarily inserted the speaker and I've temporarily inserted the display and I have a fully charged 18650 battery uh, negative at that end positive at that end and this battery actually fits happy days then I spent some time twiddling with all the switches on the top, trying to figure out how to turn it on. Um, and actually, it's not specifically the switches on the top. There's this button here, the control button, that you need to press and hold. And with a bit of luck, <laughs> he says, <laughs> press and hold. Oh, there we go. <laughs> with a bit of luck, you get this display light up here. And, uh, and then boom, look at that. Yeah, we can see that we can see that the radio is indeed sort of working. Uh, so we now know that it's worth putting time, effort, and energy into assembling the rest of this. And if I'm honest, I think the assembly of the rest of this isn't going to be particularly difficult. It's it's relatively logical. There's buttons and knobs, and then there's these things here which you can just yeah, let me just turn that off. Um, so we need a peel. We need a peel backing stickers off this stuff um, but yes I've stupidly fitted that and I can see underneath that PCB I can see holes that I need to get to so I might um, I might have to take that PCB off there's a little rubber sticky pad that I've <laughs> I've used to fit that uh, to fit that LCD yeah well ah, come on let's just let's just make a start let's get into it now <laughs> there we go then right that's five minutes of my life gone just peeling the backing off of all of these lovely acrylic covers it's a little bit like putting a jigsaw puzzle together you just keep going through the pieces until you figure out what you need and and where they need to go um and what i'm doing at the minute i am putting together the standoffs so that we can mount the radio pcb uh, on the back of here the nice thing is you end up with uh, you get a little uh, allen wrench or an allen key as we call them in england so we need to put in these four shorter standoffs here so that we can mount the radio pcb in fact let me just remove the aerial from the radio pcb um, and then that radio pcb will sit in place nicely um, and that'll all be solid i've got the back acrylic case uh, now so that um so these this fits on here as you can see uh, and then these guys here which have got uh, threads on them as well so those will fit through those holes so ultimately we're just going to end up stuffing those in there like that that looks like it's interfering with the speaker uh, so <laughs> i have to change where the speaker goes as well but but yeah it's all really good fun sort of putting this together you'll figure it out trust me so having said and done all of that here's the radio itself so we've got channel mode and ultimately we can select different channels and then we can change to frequency mode and we can adjust our frequencies we can adjust our step sizes from one kilohertz up to a hundred kilohertz uh, we've then got standard sort of menu mode, and perhaps you can see at the top there, the little marker is moving around. Uh, so we've got AGCs, we've got noise blankers, we can change between VHF, um, uh, shortwave, uh, AM. Uh, this is currently the airband and longwave. Yeah, this is an absolute beast. So the aerial is a standard sma connector there's a loads of functionalities there's loads of other functionality there are multiple switches on it there's an instruction book as long as your arm the software on this is complex it is easy to get a little bit lost in the menu settings trying to figure out how to use this but that's part of the fun of building your own radio <laughs> don't know if you guys can hear that but uh, that's a bit of Morse code on the handband and we're running from the standard aerial uh, interesting to see this little device picking up Morse code from its standard aerial I thought it was going to be deaf it's not deaf it's not bad Radio 1 is 3 America Radio 1 is 3 America 
It's a Russian station, Radio X-Ray 1, United America. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks ever so much for watching. Make sure you give us a good old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribed if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, folks. Bye for now.